So the donning event has brought some new weapons, or returning weapons. Many of you pointed out this morning that the Zephyr Sword is actually a reissued sword. I completely forgot about this weapon, but there's actually a number of new traits that are on this weapon, including the new trait Cold Steel, which was the one that intrigued us the most. Essentially, Power Sword hits slow targets. This was really interesting because we wanted to answer two questions. Number one, would this allow us to self-proc focusing lens? And number two, does this synergize with our stasis subclasses? Turns out the answer to both of those is yes and yes and then some. Fellas, if you're interested in getting this sword, the Zephyr sword is actually dropping or this particular role is dropping from the Pigeon Provides quest. There are a number of random roles that you can get on this weapon and we're going to talk about in a little more depth which one I would go for. But the focus today is on Cold Steel. Now, when messing around with Cold Steel, I immediately started using Power Sword Hits, which does consume more ammo, it's a longer animation, and it does have a tendency to miss at times. But it was doing what it says it would do, which was essentially apply stasis or that slowed effect to the target. However, turns out that even light attacks with this sword also apply stasis, meaning a single swipe will slow the target. And this is fantastic for a number of things you're attacking, especially things that tend to stop you. Applying that slow seems to mess with them a little bit, even champions, thus allowing you not to get smacked around by a melee or two. But the beautiful thing is if you do three consecutive line attacks, this would actually result in the target getting frozen. Again, something that's not even present there in the trait description, as it states only power sword hits will slow the target, so I'm not even sure if this is intentional or not. All I know is that the light attacks are applying stasis very easily, and consecutive light attacks are freezing opponents. Now, I know some of you are thinking, okay, Cross, and you're doing some stasis abilities. What's so special here? Well, the reason why this is so special is because we have an artifact mod this season called Focusing Lens. Essentially, your light abilities do bonus damage to combatants affected by stasis. Normally, the only way to really take advantage of Focusing Lens is either A, someone on your team is rocking stasis, Stasis, or B, you're taking advantage of weapons like Agar Scepter or Cryostasia or maybe a Headstone weapon, which is a little more difficult to proc in comparison to Agar Scepter and Cryostasia, especially Cryostasia now in this sandbox. Now, what makes Zephyr so unique here is that number one, it's a legendary weapon, and number two, it has the ease of use that many other Stasis-related weapons don't have. Most other Stasis-related weapons require a kill in order to apply that Stasis effect, whereas Zephyr doesn't require a kill. Kill. It just simply requires you to land a couple line attacks off. And the beautiful thing about this is that, say for instance, you're rocking a damage dealing super that is a light based subclass, whether it's Celestial Nighthawk, Yeet Titans, Nova Bomb, Chaos Reach, etc. You can self proc focusing lens all on your own without relying on an exotic weapon that deals stasis damage or a teammate that can apply stasis for you. I think where Zeph really stands out is for solo players who are looking to take advantage of focusing lens and self proccing the stasis effect for themselves. So upon discovering the ease of use of Zeph with Cold Steel and how it synergizes with focusing lens, I was pretty much sold that this weapon was going to have a place in my arsenal, especially in solo content. However, then we asked the question, can Cold Steel with Zephyr synergize with our stasis subclasses? Turns out, it can. If you happen to be rocking some stasis aspects that can produce shards, for instance, Grim Harvest here, where defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards, these shards can and will be produced by Zephyr here. Even even with those line attacks. Now this obviously caused a stasis gasm pretty much midstream today as I wanted to see how far can we go with this and turns out as far as we want. This is not a build video but I am going to show you a build that does work here with Zeph and this is essentially my juggernaut hunter build and we're going to start with the mod here elemental shards. Stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you. Now you see right here with every light attack we are supplying elemental shards with this sword not even using our stasis subclass abilities and as we're picking up these shards, they are counting as stasis elemental wells. Now, there's two directions we want to go with this. Number one, elemental charge. You become charged with light when you pick up an elemental well. Now, the mod that we utilize here to take advantage of this charge with light is none other than Lucent Blade, which states that while you're charged with light, dealing damage with the sword gives you a bonus sword damage for five seconds, consuming just one stack of charge with light. A great mod, guys. And again, if you have the secondary perk there, it's extremely beneficial. You just want to make sure you have an arc mod slot next to it as that increases the charge rate for your equipped sword. Now the mods that are taking advantage of the elemental shards and stasis shards that we're picking up is Font of Wisdom which actually gives us max intellect when we pick up those stasis shards. This is really good especially if you're rocking a low intellect build. It doesn't go beyond cap or tier 10 but if you're rocking say like a tier 1 or tier 2 intellect build boom you're going to be rocking max with every stasis shard that you pick up. The other mod is Font of Might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy 
type grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same elemental type. Now you'll see it right there on the screen where you actually have increased damage to your stasis weapons. So if you happen to be rocking another stasis weapon alongside the sword, yes, that too will also get an increase there in damage. Now these are not small buffs. Lucent Blade actually increases your sword damage by 35% with an effect time of six seconds. Font of Might, which actually got a buff this past season, offers a 25% buff for a base of 11 seconds. And by the way, this is an excellent spreadsheet for those that are interested, created by Court. Now this stacks together and the damage there was pretty nice. But what was even more impressive was our Hunter's survivability right here. And that was essentially because we were combining Passive Guard, which allows us to receive less damage from combatants that are close to us while we are wielding a sword. That in combination with these set of fragments, which made us extremely tanky. And that is of course Whisper of Chains, where we take reduced damage when near a friendly stasis crystal and Whisper of Rhyme. We're collecting those stasis shards, grants a small amount of overshield. And as you see, we're producing lots of these stasis shards. Now I had some other fragments on, but I would suggest using the fragment that allows those stasis shards to track to you, just so you got some ease of use there when running around with your sword. That way you don't have to manually go pick up every single one of these shards. And then on top of that, we also rock this alongside Worm Huss, which when we would dodge and we took advantage of the aspect that would slow targets when we would dodge, not only were we slowing targets, but we were also getting our health back. This is some Grandmaster content just right there at the beginning. We were doing a lot of other things today, so I couldn't just stay in here too long. But the point of this was just to see how effective it was at keeping me alive, as well as seeing how well it synergized with aspects and fragments and elemental well mods. And what's amazing here is that it synergizes perfectly. And the more and more I play with this, the more I think that everything here is intentional. Even the light attack applying that stasis slow. Now some questions are going to come up. What about the other stasis subclasses? What about ice flare bolts or diamond lance? Are all of these able to synergize with Zephyr? And the answer to that is yes. Everything here is synergizing perfectly. So guys, go for this sword. Get the static roll from the Pigeon Provides quest. And currently right now, it is showing random rolls, although I have not had a single other one drop for me. If I was to go for a specific roll though, I would actually choose either Tireless Blade with Cold Steel, Unrelenting Cold Steel, or Relentless Strikes with Cold Steel. Those would be the options I would go for. I know it's got things like Harmony, Flash Counter, Ruin Blade, all that good stuff, but there are better options out there amongst swords when it comes to dealing damage. What makes this sword special is that it's applying stasis slow. It's freezing targets. It's synergizing with things like focusing lens, as well as all of our stasis aspects and fragments. So guys, try it out for yourselves. We'll be reviewing the rest of the weapons this week, so be looking out for those. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Mm -hmm.